Hi guys, this is Rati here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to give you five book recommendations about the books of my favorite author, that is Ruskin Bond. Now Ruskin Bond is one of the most well-known writers in English fiction when it comes to English language, not just in India, but across the world. Ruskin Bond is an Indian English writer. And today I'm going to give you five book recommendations by him. But before I begin, just a bit about uh, Mr. Bond more. So Mr. Bond has also been felicitated with many prestigious awards, including uh, the award by the Sahitya Academy of India, India's National Academy of Letters, Sahitya Academy Award, the highest award by this literary body of India. Ruskin Bond lives in Missouri. So now without much ado, let's begin. So the first book I'd recommend by Ruskin Bond that all of you should read is The Room on the Roof. Now, the Room on the Roof is in fact the first book penned down by Mr. Bond and he wrote it down when he was a teenager himself. I think he was 17 years old when he penned down The Room on the Roof. And the amazing thing about The Room on the Roof is that, you know, it gives you a glimpse into the characteristic writing style of Ruskin Bond so if you're somebody who is new to Bond's writing, you want to read a Ruskin Bond, but you don't quite know where to begin from, then I would suggest you to first begin with The Room on the Roof. The wonderful thing about the book is, as I said, it would give you a glimpse into Ruskin Bond's characteristic lifestyle, his sense of humor, the natural ease with which he describes nature, uh, you know, the ease with which he describes human characters, he weaves human characters, and the simplicity of his writing style. All of this is there in The Room on the Roof, and it would prepare you for his other books. The second book that I'd recommend you must read if you're a fan of the Ruskin Bond is How to Be a Writer. Now, How to Be a Writer is, in fact, a fairly recent book by Ruskin Bond. I think it was published last year itself. The... Speciality, I would say, of how to be a writer is that, you know, it's not your uh, cliched, one of those cliched books which just tell you about the technical aspects of writing that, okay, you do this, you do that, you follow this exercise, you write like this, write like that, and then you become a writer. No, it actually also gives you, you know, a glimpse, a peep into the lifestyle of a writer, his background story, his life's experiences. Ruskin Bond, you know, talks uh, repeatedly about how his own writing process started, how he uh, makes it a point to write for a couple of hours every day, how he takes a walk every day, how, you know, spending time in the lap of nature also contributes to his creativity. And that is inseparable from his writing life. So I, you know, if you really want to become a writer someday and you want to take writing professionally, then one of the things is that you also want to learn from other people's practical experiences of, you know, how they how they kind of coordinated writing with their life. It's just not about only about the technical things. So I think from that a point of view, How to Be a Writer is a wonderful book to read because it also has a lot of anecdotal evidence, as I said, from Ruskin Bond's own life. The second speciality about this book is that it has a lot of examples. Bond, whenever he's giving you uh, some tip on writing, he's constantly also giving you examples from classics of English language or classic fiction books of English uh, literature. And I think that's also something wonderful. Your vocabulary increases and your knowledge of classic books also increases. So I think How to Be a Writer is a must read for anybody, everybody who want to take writing seriously at some point of time in their lives. The third book I'd recommend is Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra. Now, this is the book for which uh, Bond actually got the Sahitya Academy Award. That is the award by India's National Academy of Letters. Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra is a beautiful compilation of short stories again. But the speciality of this book is that these short stories are more or less like memoirs and Quite a bit of autobiographical influence, autobiographical elements from Bond's own life, 
although they are works of fiction but all stories are structured around you know events and characters from bond's own life right from childhood till contemporary period how he spent his life in different parts of the world the kind of characters he met the kind of people he met the kind of you know adventures and hardships he went through all of this is there in this book so i think if you want to know about ruskin bond the person also closely then our trees still grow in dehra is really a must read The fourth book I'd recommend is Falling in Love Again. Now as the title suggests the book is literally about falling in love and we all like love stories and you know books about romance at least I do and I'm sure if not all of you then some of you do. Uh, it's a collection of beautiful beautiful stories about love and romance again both old and new. And it has all shades of love and you know the amazing thing about ruskin bones uh, B- bones writings about love and this book in particular uh, is that the characters are always falling in love you know the protagonist is always falling in love but his love is never really getting uh, realized in the end you know his love becomes something like a phantom an imaginary creature that sits in his head and the protagonist is sitting and smiling okay but the love is never realized in real life but still you don't get a feeling of negativity still you're not dejected uh, and depressed it leaves you know uh, you're left with a sweet pang in your consciousness a sweet desire so i think rather than the realistic culmination of love falling in love again is more about the feeling of love the beautiful a feeling of love how love defines all of us it defines our existence and so read it for the sheer emotion of love and also read it for the wonderful women characters and this is something which i have said in one of my reviews before i have done specifically a review falling in love again also you can check it out i'll give you the link so the women characters in these stories are you know not one dimensional and those cliched women characters rather they are multi-dimensional women characters and yes they're bogged down by societal constraints but they have their own agency uh, desires and feelings so uh, sorry i spoke too much about the book because i'm literally in love with this book now coming to the last and the fifth book recommendation it's a wonderful life roads to happiness Now this is the latest book by Ruskin Bond and the speciality of this book is that it was in fact written during the time of the pandemic last year when the whole world was struggling with the coronavirus pandemic there was so much negativity depression dejection you know so many human lives were lost unfortunately and although we are still in the middle of the pandemic technically but i think that worst phase is hopefully over but last year we all know how terrible it was and this was a time when ruskin bond uh, penned down this wonderful book called it's a wonderful life a road to happiness and the book is written uh, slightly differently it doesn't have those typical short stories but it's divided into four sections the first section has a uh, experiences memories of uh, ruskin bond's own life then there are vignettes then there's a section with essays then the fourth and the most interesting section i think is lockdown diaries that is diary entries from ruskin bond's uh, lockdown period we get a glimpse into how ruskin bond reacted to the lockdown to the pandemic how he spent his days uh, during the lockdown period So again I think a must read book for not just Ruskin Bond fans but just for everybody and anybody literally because of the sheer you know atmosphere of negativity that engulfed us since the uh, last year I think these kind of books are a must read and the book literally uh, leads us you know towards a road to happiness as in Bond's characteristic uh, style you know there are these little wignets and there are these you know you get to learn to appreciate little things of life that how appreciating nature taking a little outdoor walk in the lap of nature or how getting very excited about your everyday breakfast a simple chat with family or friends how you know all this can actually make your day more lively and it's amazing how ruskin bond in his characteristic writing style elevates all these so called mundane things of everyday existence to sublime proportions and it is in these so called mundane everyday little little moments that the happiness of life actually lies in so 
uh this is a wonderful book and i think it's a must read for everybody a completely different perspective you know uh that despite the pandemic life is still going on and there are wonderful uh, things uh, happening you know the wonderful synergy of nature the wonderful synergy of human emotions that cannot get impacted by anything or anybody so guys that was it for today these are the five book recommendations i had and thank you so much for listening to me if you like the content please do press the like button on the video and also do subscribe to the channel and uh, so yeah guys that's it for today uh, see you soon bye for now